Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Embrya Nicole, and let me just give y'all a little sneak peek of a day in the life of being a full-time mompreneur. So I woke up this morning and we had the carpet cleaner guy scheduled to come. So he was supposed to come the day before, but we were out of town picking up a car. So we had to push him back for today. And I made sure I tipped him for pushing him back um, a day. But anywho, yeah, so I woke up <clears throat> and was like, um, sorry about that, y'all. Excuse me. I'm getting over a little cold or something. But I woke up and was like, let me just do this little um whatever you know fall cleaning so i just wanted to go ahead and get that out the way we did a lot of the cluttering from the kids room um because two of them moved up to different schools like one went from elementary to middle school the other went from middle school to high school and they had a lot of clothes and stuff that just needed to be gave away so um i headed to the hallway and i started vacuuming the hallway because I did not want this guy to have to come in here and just stuff be everywhere, you know. So anytime that we get in the carpet clean, I like to just prep and just have it like open for him. And when he came, I was like, you know, I, I hope everything is, you know, he was like, no, this is perfect. He was like, you know, I, I really appreciate you getting everything off the floor and, you know, out the way. So he's here. He's bringing his equipment in. Um, this is his business, his company. If you guys would like to book him, Jaguar Services, he does a excellent job. I mean, like he, he, he do his thing. So I'm headed upstairs. Um, I forgot what was I going up there for? Oh, I think to get the money to pay him. He told me he was about to be done after he hit the steps. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna come check it out, you know, get the money so I can pay him. So it looks really good. Like, really really good and if y'all had a saw my daughter room before baby honey he did really good um my daughter and my son actually so this is her room <sighs> child I, I just don't even know don't i don't know what's going on what we're gonna do with the walls if we're gonna touch that up and paint over it um i don't know if we're gonna change her color or what we're gonna do but at this point y'all i don't know if my child thinks she like a construction worker or a scientist or i just don't know she be in there mixing up stuff trying stuff that's what y'all see on the floor right there that little spot that's from her doing her little tiktok experiments and stuff like it's just it's not good like for real um but yeah i don't understand why this side of the wall the the turquoise side is more dirty than the pink like I don't know what she be doing over there. But, yeah, we're going to get that all together. And I'm going to redecorate her room, actually. So we started here, you know, like just taking everything out, throwing the little stuff away, throwing a lot of her toys away. We just got rid of them because I'm like, you know what, baby, at this point, you don't even desire no toys. We just going to get rid of them. But, yeah, we took everything up out of that thing. And I'm going to start it over, decorate it real cute for her. And we're just going to see how she do this go round. Um, but, yeah, y'all should have seen this room, honey. It was hot mess express, like for real. Um, so, yeah, I was telling them, you know, that Jayla, we had to get her to office because she wanted to come up out of there with her, honey. So, you know, I just felt bad for her. And I was like, okay, you know, you can get to office because I really do. My heart was just like... <laughs> My heart was hurting for her just being in that room with her sister and her sister out of control like that. So, yeah, um, this the haul after it's done. It looks really good. I am very, very pleased. It looks nice and it does look a little dark because it's wet. If you know about carpet cleaning, then you know. But, yeah, he did good. So I was just telling him um, I was going to put him on my page. I said, I'm going to post you. And he said, well, thank you for that. You know, I always ask clients, you know, if they could post me and they never do. He said, I really appreciate that. And it was so crazy, y'all, because when I was walking off, he said, I love, you know, meeting happy people. So I guess that meant I was happy, even though I was a little pissed off at my daughter about that room, honey. You know, my aura still gave off, you know, he, he, he still picked up a happy vibe from me, you know. And I thought that was so sweet that he said that to me. But, yep, y'all, I made it to the school in time to get my children 
I had been at home cleaning all day while the man was cleaning the carpet. I was cleaning the kitchen and doing some laundry and stuff. So I made it to get the kids. They get out at 3.15. I pulled up at either 3.15 or 3.16, one of them, but I made it, you know, because, baby, if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to be a mama, and that's just on that. So let me see what we did next. Okay, so it's 3.18. Jayla has an ortho appointment at 4 p.m. You can't be late because they account for you, honey. So Zay wanted to go to the store and get a slushy. So I took him to the store to get his slushy. There go my babies. She danced and she happy to see her mama. <laughs> but yeah. So um, I'm like, girl, where's your brother? She talking about he coming. He be talking to them girls. Look at him. He don't like to be recorded. <laughs> my handsome baby. But yeah, so I'm, she think this so funny right here because I'm asking her, why you didn't clean that room so we could do that carpet? Her room did not get done because she got shoe boxes everywhere and everything. So I got to schedule the man next week to come back and clean her room. I don't know what was so funny about that. Then she laughing because I told her about her sister room. She was like, well, you could have cleaned my room. And I was like, I would have if I hadn't been in your sister room so long. So we headed to the ortho, orthodontist. Um, they take forever here, y'all. So I'm really just like planning on dropping her off and going on about my business, you know. But luckily today, they did not take that long, you know. So I had put her out, told her to go on in there and sign in. She trying to go get some food. I was like, no, baby, you go in there and sign in. That's what you do. Then I ran to Starbucks to get my Starbucks. And then I took Naya to Wendy's to get her some Wendy's. And we went back to pick her sister up because she was calling saying she was ready. And I said, oh, okay, I see you getting out on time. Then I stopped by Family Dollar because I'm going to go back home and finish cleaning the bathrooms. And I wanted to get some cleaning stuff out of there. And then I ran to the grocery store, Naya and I. What did we get out the grocery store? Um, we just grabbed a little, little, little stuff here and there. We got some juice. We got some tacos to make tonight. And what else did we get? Got me a salad. And then, y'all, the juice. I don't understand why they keep changing this. Like, now it ain't even going to taste the same. I just know it's not because it, they do that all the time. And every time they change the carton, it don't taste. Babe, did you see that change the carton on the Minute Maid? It's not going to taste the same. Okay, so we got our stuff, and baby, we are. No, we're not headed out right now. I had to get some water. Yeah, I was like, mm-hmm, we out of water. One thing about it, I'm going to buy some water because I want these children to stay hydrated, you know. And even though they waste them, they keep getting them, and they be half full, but still, it's the principle. Y'all know I'm buying them for y'all to drink them. So, yeah, now we headed out. Jayla don't eat ground beef, so I got her ground turkey. Naya didn't want, I don't know what's on that, ch them chicken tenders. I ain't see that till afterwards. I was like, ew. But Naya didn't want tacos, so she grabbed those. And so now we are headed out to go home with our little groceries. This shit was like $50, y'all, <laughs> for three bags. Like, I'm sick of going in the grocery store, and I go in the grocery store like every other day. Why is it so expensive? I was putting my buggy back right here. Y'all, I always do this. Last week I was at Publix, I put the buggy back, and the man was like, you know what, that speaks a lot about your character. I was like, mm. But right here, um, this sits in the parking lot of the grocery store. So I just went on over there to put them little, I had two bags. I had already did one. I put that one in there, um, some shoes and stuff. And then I had at home to keep my feet up because, baby, who these things were barking. They is tired. I've been up cleaning all day, being a mom. Today I did a little stay-at-home mom type of thing. I really don't like that, though. I ain't get paid for doing that shit. Anyways, I like to get paid. But, yeah, I'm having me some grapes. And y'all have a good day. And follow and like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>